Let's do it. All right, let's see if we make the cut. We got this thing loaded up with all of our gear for our four, four days, right? Yes, four days. Four day trip to Cancun, yeah. And we got a 50 pound bag limit on our flight. And we try to pack in one bag because, you know, we've been doing this for a while and we realize we don't need a lot of stuff when we pack. So we try to condense everything into one check-on suitcase and then we'll bring our little backpacks and carry-ons and stuff. But yeah, we're gonna use this nomadic uh, check-in right here. And what do we have here for our weight? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Did we make it? 46.1, yes. Pound it. All right, so once again, this is the nomadic uh, check-in weighing in at 46 pounds worth of our personal belongings. And we wanted to showcase this bag for you because it's pretty doggone awesome, man. So as I was scouring the internet, I was looking for something super durable and with some really good organization. Uh, you remember when I showed you that video of Nomadic taking a sledgehammer to this thing? They literally take a sledgehammer to it. They just beat the crap out of it. It flies off the side of a building. I was like, okay, I need that bag. Plus, you know, I like a lot of cool stuff. So this bag is loaded with cool organizational features and nobody packs like your boy right here. So we're just gonna highlight some really great features of this bag and show you how we pack with 45 pounds worth of our stuff for our four day trip to Cancun. And our bag will be in one piece. Yeah, when we get there and back. So first of all, I wanna talk about how smooth and quiet the wheels are. They're like super smooth and quiet. They use some fancy technology with every component of this bag. Like this bag is made of some space age materials from top to bottom, but the wheels are super smooth and very durable along with the zippers. You know, when it comes to bag zippers are very important. How many times have you had a bag where the zipper come busted open in the middle or like you try to pull it and then the little pull tab flies off? I deal with it even on my jacket right now. Oh God. So Nomadic's got you covered with some very durable zippers right here. Yeah, but don't forget about this. These oh, handles. Yeah, the handle. You can't even pick it up. <laughs> yeah, but if I had to, I don't feel like it's gonna sling off. Yeah, these are some definite, these are definitely some snatch and grab handles right here. And I like how they lay flush on the bag so they don't get caught on anything as they're moving through your uh, trip. So we got one on the left, if it's, if it's facing away from you, you have one on the left hand side and of course one on the top and that's the only two that you get. Now since we have this thing still closed, I wanna show you how it expands. It is expandable. For our four day trip, we did not need to expand it, but we'll go ahead and expand this bad boy real quick for you. So it expands for a good, Oh man, that's... So I could have packed some more stuff? No, you guys. <laughs> Why did I even bother to show y'all this? But it is expandable. <laughs> you made me put back some of my stuff. She didn't need to take that stuff. Give me this bag, man. You don't need <laughs> Okay, let's close this back up before you get any bright ideas. Mm. All right, so it is expandable, but don't tell your wife, okay? Now, another cool feature that this thing has is this locking system right here. So it comes with a built-in locking system. You can set the combination to whatever you want. Ours is set to triple zero. So if you're gonna rob us on the plane, I'm telling you right now that it's triple zero. <laughs> you push this little slide lock right there and then it opens up to show all the glory. So let's just get Let this thing open. It. Okay, fine, you can do it. Oh yeah, I like that. See That's how smooth a, that is? Yeah, that was a nice zipper. All right, so now we get to the nitty gritty. Come on in here, we'll show you what we got in this bag. All right, so before we get this thing open, I wanna show y'all this retractable handle. So it's really nifty because it has three different heights. So whenever you touch it, you open it and it's gonna stop one, then another, and then another. So it's gonna be dependent upon your height. Obviously, if you have a carry-on, maybe you don't have a carry-on, so you just want it to be at the shortest length. All right, so let me show you how we pack this bag up for our four day trip to the beach. So we always have to have kind of like a day pack. So I use this Camelback right here, cool little bag that you just, you know, walk around on the beach with and stuff like that. But let's just toss that to the side. Don't need it anymore. This is the star of the show right here. One of the coolest features, there are several cool features, but one of the absolute coolest features are these compression sections right here with these fit locks right here. So each one of these can be folded up. We'll start with the bottom right here. You just pull this little flip up like that and it just pops open and you can see it was compressed. This is where we actually put our shoes because what savage animal 
packs their nasty naked shoes in with the rest of their clothes. We actually use shoe bags and they're right here. But if you just wanted to compress two thirds of this bag, you can just flip this up and then you can latch it on just like that. Or if you wanted to do one third of the bag, you can just open this up just like this, flip it open, you can compress one third of the bag and have the other two thirds uh, non-compressed. But we have our shoes packed in here. This is two pair of shoes, one set of workout shoes and one set of flip flops because I'm gonna be wearing them on the beach all the time. And then these are my wife's shoes, which is what? What you got in here? I have one pair of tennis shoes and two flip flops. All right, because she's an overpacker. And then we will get to our third section of compression. And you see how that sleeve works? You can actually not pack this if you want to. I don't know why you wouldn't because this thing is so awesome. But let me just go ahead and detach the whole thing. That way you can see that you don't have to carry it unless you want to. Let's put it over there. So right here, we got some gear. We got my wife's dresses right here. She's got two dresses because there are maybe two to three nights that we might go to the, to the main dining area and eat with the hoity-toity people in the nice restaurant. And then I have two pair of linen slacks right here and another pair of linen slacks and three dinner shirts right there. And that is that whole compartment. You see it's nice and open and spacious. That way you can pack it with whatever you need. It's not gonna be a problem. All right, so this side of the bag is where I have majority of my belongings. So there are two really good size zipper pouches on this side, as you can see. In this one, the larger one, there are five bathing suits, underwear, and socks, enough for my trip for the four days. This is all my stuff. Um, I won't take it out, um, but the top portion, this is where I have my hairbrush, my roll brush, or my round brush, and I have my curling iron. Now, outside of that, there's these really good little zippers here, once again. Zips right open, flips back, and this is where we have all the rest of our stuff. Now, we have everything in packing cubes. These are the nomadic packing cubes. These are optional. Um, they're really great um, because they are expandable, um, just like the suitcase. So inside of here is um, Antoine's items, like his shirts and things like that that he's gonna be wearing during the day. Um, you can see here the zippers move very nicely, but this is showing you that expandable piece of the packing cube. And as you can see here, we have one packing cube, real good packed. Then the next packing cube, these are my items. These are shorts and some day clothes that I could wear or workout clothes, expandable too. Um, I did not have to expand it, um, but if it really helped for me because it helped compress what I had going on. You can see just how easy it is to zip it right back up after you've unzipped it, showing even that expandable piece. Of course, my makeup bag and then Antoine's toiletry bag. Then a smaller bag that Nomadic has packing cube. Um, as you can see here, this one is expandable too, just like the rest of them. It's the smaller one and he has- That's actually the medium bag and the, the larger ones right there, those are the large. Okay. So large and medium. Okay, so two medium so far and then the large. And here he has all his swim trunks and all of his day clothes, his um, shorts and things like that that he's gonna wear. Um, but as you can see, this stuff packed in here real nicely, real tight. And we were able to put that zipper over the top very, very easily without even having to basically sit on the luggage, if you know what I mean, to get it closed. So the packing cubes are a really nice addition. A lot of people, if you have never used packing cubes before, I never did a long time ago, but these suckers will make you a believer. As you can see, this piece of luggage is very nice, very sleek. Um, there's even some additional little pockets here for you just to slide some things in. Maybe you have some hair dubers or some clips, or maybe just some last minute toiletries that you just wanna shove in there. Maybe an electronic piece of some kind, like a cord or something like that. Um, but it's really nice because everything is very sleek and you have the entire compartment to put all your stuff in this suitcase. All right, zip that thing up. You didn't sneak nothing extra in here, did you? I might have. Because now that you know it's expandable. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. All right. Now we're ready. All right, now once again, what's the combination? Did oh, you forget? I thought you said it was triple zero. Yeah, so everybody knows now our combination <laughs> is triple zero. <laughs> All right, you just buckle that in just like that. Oh, nice. And then you change up the combination so nobody knows your combination is triple zero. Are right, you ready to go on this trip, man? Yeah. Let's do this. 
Let's go. Oh, so you one of them cats that like to just run up in a place, take what you want, then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button. That way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might want to consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, man, I appreciate you. And I'll see you at the next one. Is this not why you are here?